Hi and welcome to Bum Knives. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a little quick Adobe Rush tutorial. Uh, we're using Adobe Rush on an iPhone XR. It's very common to have an issue with um, rendering your videos. If you have a very complex video that you're trying to make and I hope to be able to help some of you guys out with this. So this tutorial is um, going to be more of an intermediate tutorial. So it's going to assume that you have some use and knowledge of the app already, or at least some moderate video editing skills. Okay, so what could be causing this issue? That's what we need to think about. First, it could be caused by many different things, probably out of phone storage, something like that, or just a very heavy um, wonderful video that you've made with a lot of compact, complex uh, features and stuff. Uh, and for whatever reason, it just does not want to render. Okay, so this is just going to be a quick and dirty quick fix that might be able to get you guys through if you're struggling with the same issue that I had. Um, there are a lot of good tutorials out there that could walk you through a much more in-depth um, analysis of how you could solve this problem going forward and then after I show you the quick fix I will show you some other ideas to maybe help prevent this in the future as well. Okay so what you're going to do is open your um, Adobe Rush app you're going to open your project that you want to work on and then what you want to do is turn on your screen recording um, once you have your screen recording on you're just going to actually play your video just like you're playing it normally and do a screen recording of it um, there's going to probably be people that are going to argue that there are uh, resolution differences and stuff like that for all intents and purposes I don't think especially if you're making like a YouTube video anyone's going to be able to tell the difference and now that you have your recording you're going to just open up your camera roll open the video resize it and voila you're all set okay so that was our quick and dirty quick fix for that uh, like I promised before, uh, I was going to give you guys another idea. So what you can do is duplicate your project. So now you have two of them. Okay. Now that you have two projects, you can um, just cut the video down to smaller sizes. So, I mean, for my phone, it seems to work well. Anything under like six minutes, if it's not super complex, anything more than that, it just doesn't want to cooperate. And then you're going to just render those small chunks out. And then once you have the actual video rendered out, you can open up um, another project and piece together the videos and have like a very long project without any issues. For today, I just wanted to make something quick and simple, a little tutorial that if you've been struggling with that, hopefully will help help you out. Um, feel free to follow me on my YouTube under Chris Sproles for Bum Knives for exploring the world of knife making. Have a good one, guys. Uh. Yeah.